Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is your boy Chris Lee, aka Tony. I'm going to give you a three video series of tutorials <clears throat> in Adobe Audition 3. But the good thing about it is the tutorials and tips that I'm going to give you in this program works the same way for Pro Tools, Logic, and the rest of the programs that I recorded. Uh, just a little bit different. Everything is just in different spots. Looks almost exactly the same. I don't want to talk so much, though. I'm going to go ahead and get started. First thing that you want to do is always. Uh, save your session. Once you save your session, you want to save it somewhere where you know where it is. Create a folder that says Adobe Audition Session Folder. Inside of there, create the name of the folder. Bam. Once you create the name of the folder, you want to click uh, another folder inside of there, which is I did Adobe Audition 3 uh, right here. And matter of fact, I can do another one for y'all right now. Just. <clears throat> AU3 tutorial video. Okay, so open that and just type AU3T. Don't want to waste too much time on that. Bam. Now that the session is saved, next thing that you want to do automatically is uh, name your track. So I got a random beat in there. And I'm just going to put random vocal, I mean, uh, titles in there. Money one, <clears throat> next, money two. I'm going to work kind of fast, so please bear with me. I don't have much time. Money three, money four. Okay, next thing that you want to do. <clears throat> EQ makes my vocals brighter uh, depending on how I do it, so... I'm going to show you good settings for my vocals. Uh, hopefully you can try it on yours and maybe it'll work on yours. But My tips don't work for everybody. But I, I am leading you in the right direction to give you uh, good tips uh, to get good quality in your music. So just bear with me while I'm working. I just don't have much time to sit around uh, and talk and stall the whole time doing a video. So I'm just changing these because I know I'm going to need them eventually and I don't want to waste all the time. Bam. Bam. Change these. I want to change these to 3,000. 3,000. Okay. Now, those are the EQs that make my vocals brighter. <clears throat> now, the next thing I want to do is go ahead and set up a bus track so I can send my vocals through the bus track so I don't have to have all the same effects on every single track when I can just send all my vocals through one track bus track there we go I want to rename it rename it to reverb after I rename it to reverb I want to go in there on the effects rack and actually pick a reverb reverb I like to go down to studio reverb y'all can use whatever reverb y'all want to do and just mess with the draw the wet and the DK sound turn the DK down or up if you need to and that's and do whatever you need to do. I already got custom so many different custom settings of my own. Uh, this is mine, C Lee Custom Reverb. I don't have time to go through all of it because I'll waste my video time. But I got a reverb on there. Y'all see what I got? One, two, three. Bam. Okay, next thing that I do <clears throat> is I want to go ahead and send those tracks. Uh, send my tracks through that bus track. So I want to go to the send track right here. Track one, my first track reverb and check this out this controls my reverb the lower this number is negative whatever is the less reverb you have the higher the number is is the more reverb you have so I'm gonna go ahead and just put in five go ahead and put in five on this one this one and this one and change these to reverb 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 now these tracks vocals will be sent through this reverb next thing that I like to do is go ahead and put a, a tube model compressor on there so I have my own you can pick your own whichever one that you got or you like to use <clears throat> I got my own custom setting one so that's the one I'm gonna leave in there once you put it on the first track you automatically you pick the same one that automatically put the same effect on the next track for you okay now that I got that let me just go ahead and do that for all those four tracks just in case so I ain't wasting time later in the video I'm using Camtasia to record <clears throat> this video 
it's not recording the system audio, so I apologize. Y'all will be able to hear stuff later, but not while recording. Okay, uh, next thing I want to do is go ahead and just put some vocals down uh, for the hook. So let me go ahead and put the hook down. I'm using the Fast Track Ultra Interface. Right now, for this tutorial, I'm using the AT2035 and a PreSonus 2 Pre. <clears throat> so let me arm a track, turn it on, turn the vocals down, I mean the sound down, and then let me just try to put a random hook in here. I got money on my mind, money make me hustle, I got money on my mind, money make me hustle, I got money on my mind, money make me hustle, money make me hustle, money make me hustle, I got money on my mind, money make me hustle, I got money on my mind, money make me hustle, I got money on my mind, money make me hustle, money make me hustle, money make me hustle. Bam, I got one hook in there. Now I want to record the same exact thing for the next track. I got money on my mind. Money make me hustle. I got money on my mind. Money make me hustle. I got money on my mind. Money make me hustle. Money make me hustle. Money make me hustle. I got money on my mind. Money make me hustle. I got money on my mind. Money make me hustle. I got money on my mind. Money make me hustle, money make me hustle, money make me hustle. So bam, there you have it. I got two tracks uh, that I already recorded. Now check this out. The first thing that I want to do, telling you straight up, out the back, now that I got my EQs armed, got the reverb on there and uh, the compressor. Now what I want to do is for the first track, I want to go down here and type in negative 50 because I want these to be panned. Uh, in each ear and the next one I want to go to positive 50 that way it's equally in the left ear equally in the right ear that's very important panning is very important I don't want to waste too much time talking let me get to the next step watch what I do uh, I want to just go ahead and grab like a little simple selection because I know I'm gonna have to do it uh, in a minute so let me just go ahead and get it this noise reduction uh, noise reduction is very important for certain people but if you record in a booth with no sound, absolutely no sound like I do and got a good mic, uh, then, I mean, it's not mandatory. Most people will argue with me and say that it is, but hey, to each his own. I got good quality, so uh, I'm going to continue to do my thing and y'all do y'all's up. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and silence out the rest of the BS that I don't need. First thing you want to do is go to Effects, FFT Filter, and go down to DS and click OK. Bam, simple, fast, and easy. Next thing you want to do is go to FFT uh, filter and EQ again. Go down to graphic equalizer this time. Go down to lead vocal clarity. Uh, lead vocal presence and clarity usually works for me best. I just come here and turn a couple of these up. Turn some of these down. These ones on the edge up really towards the middle. Kind of turn them up just a little bit. Just a little bit though. Not too much. Where they increase your vocals just like that, just a little bit. So next thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and get that noise reduction on there complete. Bam. Got that done. That's one of them done. Same thing here. Silence out everything. <clears throat> Hope I ain't working too fast, but I ain't got time to sit and stall. Um, FFT EQ. Filter, put that deesser on there. After I do that deesser, go ahead and go back and go to graphic equalizer this time. Same rules apply. This is the same one that is going to save in there. And might affect just to be on the safe side. Uh, C Lee Custom EQ. So I can save it so I ain't got to worry about it no more. Bam, now that that's in there, the last thing I want to do, go ahead and put that noise reduction on there. <clears throat> and bam, I got that hook. I got the hook done. Now, the hook's not completely done, but I'm going to go ahead and let you hear what I got so far. So let me cut this off. I want you to get feedback from the mic. 
And let me see how much time I got. Okay, 10 minutes. <clears throat> Oh, one thing you do want to do is make sure that you cut your beat down and turn your vocals up just a little bit. So I'm going to go with negative uh, three for right now, and then if I need to adjust it, I will. I got money on my mind. Money make me hustle. I got money on my mind. Money make me hustle. I got money on my mind. Money make me hustle. Money make me hustle. Money make me hustle. I got money on my mind. Money make me hustle, I got money on my mind. Money make me hustle, I got money on my mind. Money make me hustle, money make me hustle, money make me hustle. Bam, so there you have it. Those were my tips um, <clears throat> for the as far as importing the beat, saving the session, uh, getting you started with the busting tracks, uh, putting some EQs and effects and compressors and reverbs on there to get you started. I will be doing later more uh, in the next video or whatever to show you. The next video I'll cover on, you know, uh, using auto tune with this uh, session and recording vocals as far as the verse. What do you want to have? I'm going to use the next video to record more uh, stuff added to the hook and we'll go from there. So please rate, comment, subscribe. Please like this video. I'm asking everybody who sees this video to like it, especially if you like it. Uh, if you like it, comment. Uh, another thing, make sure that you watch all three series. So this is part one. Stay tuned for part two and part three. It's your boy Chris Lee, aka Tuny. Keep watching.